salads are not just for sides, they're for main courses as well. And I've got a fantastic lentil salad with beetroot, goat's cheese and a delicious dill vinaigrette. The portion I'm making could serve four people as a starter. I'm using pre-lentils, the best in France. Although a bit expensive, they're worth it as they hold their shape better than green lentils, which is crucial for the texture of my delicious salad. These lentils are actually called poor man's caviar. They do look a bit like caviar and they taste really delicious. Okay, in the pot. Throw them all in there. Cover the lentils with at least double their volume of cold water and slowly bring to the boil. Reason why you want to use cold water is because you'll get it even cook. If you added boiling hot water straight away, your lentils would cook on the outside and they'd go mushy on the outside and wouldn't be cooked in the centre. I need to flavour the water with thyme, a bay leaf and a teaspoon of salt. Probably take 15 minutes to cook. But what I do is at the 12 minute mark I have a little taste and see if they're done already. Next, my delicate vinaigrette. Got this lovely dill. I think people overlook dill. They always think you've got to put it with fish. And actually it works well with a lot of other dishes. Dill's subtle aniseed flavour works beautifully with cabbage or in a warm potato salad. Sunflower oil, two tablespoons. White wine vinegar, two tablespoons. Finally, add a pinch of sugar and salt. All you need to do now is blend it. I'm going to make like a dill smoothie here. If you don't want to use dill, parsley or fresh basil will work just as well. Mmm, always have a taste when you make a vinaigrette. If it needs a little bit more salt or a bit more sugar, but that seems pretty good for me. Now for that couple dean beetroot, which I've already roasted for 45 minutes. It has a particularly sweet taste, but obviously if you can't find this type of beetroot, regular cooked beetroot is fine. If you're not a fan of beetroot, roasted butternut squash or pumpkin would be ideal substitutes. Once you scrape the beetroot skin off, give it a rinse as you don't want any tough skin in your salad. I'm going to thinly slice my beetroot. Use my favourite tool, my mandolin. If you don't have one of these, sharp knife will do the same job. So you're looking for something like this, so you can almost see through it. Let's have a look at our lentils. Mm, they are done. Should still have a bit of a bite to it. I'm going to rinse them under some cold water just to stop them from cooking any further. Fish out the bay leaf and the thyme. Don't need that anymore. Now all you need to do is plate up. Grab some of your lentils. They're already looking very delicious. Already you can see how the lovely deep red of the beetroot goes very well with the dark green from the lentils. Cheese. I'm using a kind of fresh goat's cheese. It's quite mild. You don't have to use goat's cheese, you could use a mozzarella if you wanted to. Obviously it doesn't have the same flavour, but it would work well. Or if you want something a bit saltier, feta, that works well too. You want to crumble it on top. Don't forget your lovely vinaigrette. Got that bright green colour, just brings it all to life. And finish off with a sprinkling of salt and a bit of black pepper. And there's your beautiful lentil salad with the bright red sweet beetroot, creamy goat's cheese and a really sharp, zingy kind of dill vinaigrette. In my restaurant this beautiful salad was a hit, even with the most hardened meat lovers.